So, what I want to be talking about to you today is how to avoid letting the feeling of being discouraged, which happens to all of us once in a while, stop you from continuing to optimize your business and put in effort until you actually get it right and start making the first sales, whether it's a thousand plus dollar sale or just a small $40 sale. What happened to me uh, when I was starting out is that I would start something, I would put a lot of effort into it and I would expect it to make me money somehow, perhaps from uh, ads, perhaps from sales and I would just put in a ton of effort over the first first one, two, three, four weeks and then I would get highly discouraged once the initial kind of wave of success came and then when I say success I don't necessarily I don't mean sales I mean kind of the attention kind of a growth thing and that would stale it's called a plateau and just kind of stay still maybe even go down and it would discourage me so fucking much uh, that I would usually stop. So what happened differently um, when I did do that and succeed, succeeded because I failed many many times before I actually had the first business that really started making money was find a mentor. So I found someone that does online business very well and he kind of was there for me to guide me, to show me the way so that I never got discouraged because first of all I had the example of that person being you know kind of next to me and seeing him as a normal person succeed by the way parachutes succeed <laughs> so that's one thing and the second thing is that I could ask him questions uh, so I wasn't like alone and like maybe this maybe that maybe this the second thing that I do really well today when I start a business is that I make sure to structure it, the sales funnel basically, the part that makes you the sale, from the, from the moment your process begins to the moment you make a sale or even further, I, met, I always structure it in a sales funnel, which I explain about in the third chapter in the free book that I'm offering in the description um, the way it works is that every part of the funnel has a certain value and has a certain conversion so for example right now the top level of my funnel would be the YouTube traffic how many people watched my YouTube videos and from there how many people convert to going to my website from there how many people actually get my free book from there how many people actually buy my paid product that's a supplement to the free book and from there how many people actually contact me for a coaching call which leads to the sale so every part of the equation has a certain value so even if for example uh, let's say the book wasn't making the, the product, the small product, wasn't making any sales, I, I could always see where it, it kind of gets stuck. So I, let's say I got a thousand YouTube views, that's great. That led to a hundred uh, visitors to the website, that's great. That led to 50 people going, uh, getting the free book and then getting transferred, redirected to a sales page, that's great. And then it gets stuck at the sales page. Okay, now I can even use analytics on Google to find out how many clicked the buying link and then just didn't buy it. So how many people actually got to the PayPal page and then didn't buy it. So because you look at it as a systematic thing, <laughs> rather than like, oh, it didn't work. <laughs> it's like, okay, th there's a process and it got stuck somewhere. You can see how to improve it and you can say, okay, is my conversion not good like am I not converting enough people am I getting like 40 people on the sales page and none of them are buying or 
am I just not getting enough and maybe it's getting stuck somewhere above in the maybe not enough traffic, maybe not enough conversions to the sales page. So this is how like the two ways that I personally use to never ever get discouraged whenever I start something because I always come from the knowing that everything can work. Every single thing that you try could work if it just is done right. It, it, you might need to optimize it, you might need to keep and keep changing it, it might, you might even need to put in way more effort for this specific thing than anything else, but it, with enough effort and optimization, it will work. So once I commit to something, again, I find someone that does it much better than me, and thankfully I have friends that are making a lot of money selling products uh, like this, up to like $5,000 a day. and. In addition, the way I'm structuring it is always using funnels, which means that, first of all, this is the way you structure a business, and secondly, that I can tr keep track of everything and never get discouraged because I know where my uh, funnel is failing, at what step am I not getting it to convert enough or to uh, get enough traffic to that step. And that way, I can just pick up the phone like, hey man, I'm stuck at this part of the traffic of the step of the sales funnel. Can you take a look at my page and tell me what do you think I should change? <laughs> so it's really easy, it's really simple. There's never a, dis a point where I'm discouraged because of that. So just to summarize, the two best ways or the two must have ways not to get discouraged are to one, get a mentor or have a friend who's already done what you want to do and you can ask him questions and also use him as an example and or maybe even join a Facebook group where there are a lot of people who are successful and just be very active there and just ask questions or the uh, and the second thing you need to do is to make sure you use the sales funnel model because the statistics will always show you where your not converting enough or you're not getting enough, tra enough traffic which will enable you to troubleshoot, find the problem and then get a solution from the mentor or the group. And again, I explain it deeply in my third chapter of my free book. Even just for that, check it out. So thanks for watching this video, this is two videos a day this time and um, I don't know, yeah, <laughs> have a good day. <laughs>